Welcome to Liberty Revealed, the only show where you will learn about all things liberty. Your host for the show is a registered libertarian who's been involved in politics for more than 25 years. He has a passion for teaching others about the concept of personal liberty. Please welcome your host, Mike Mahoney. I am a big believer in personal liberty. To me, my rights end where your rights begin. This means the law should ensure that your freedom to live your life as you choose does not impact everyone else's freedom to live their lives as they choose. This is personal liberty. If you want to learn more about personal liberty and get more from this show, sign up to receive my 10-page guide on personal liberty entitled Liberty Revealed. You need to fill out a simple form located at yogispodcastnetwork.com forward slash liberty revealed. Once you read through that ebook, you are guaranteed to be in a position to apply the philosophy of personal liberty. Once again, yogispodcastnetwork.com forward slash liberty revealed. Now, let's get into today's topic. Welcome back to another episode of Liberty Revealed, the show dedicated to revealing personal liberty to all who listen. I'm your host, Mike Mahoney, and today I want to talk to you about how to handle liberty issues without being selfish. I recently had an interaction in a Facebook group and it gave rise to what we are about to discuss. It showed me exactly how much the Libertarian Party is failing at its messaging. The fact that people still have a completely erroneous idea of what Libertarians stand for is evident by the conversation I'm about to share. The person in question shared an article that described Libertarianism as destroying our society. I immediately got intrigued because, to me, for that to happen, libertarian principles have to be prevalent in society, and they just are not. That's what initially made me perk up and take notice. Now, upon reading the article, it became quite apparent that the author didn't understand libertarianism at all. The author and the person I encountered on Facebook as well both looked at libertarians as being on the far right of the political spectrum. Now, I tried to explain to them that... Technically, libertarians are conservative on financial issues and liberal on social issues. Now, they also took our stance on personal liberty and they called it selfish. So why would they do that? That's the important one to me. To me, there's a very poor understanding of personal liberty and how it applies to society and in private, even amongst libertarians. There is a failure to understand that personal liberty does have limitations when in a group. Now, the phrase, your rights end where my rights begin, needs to be understood in order to remove that label of being selfish. Yes, we believe we should be allowed to do whatever we want, as often as we want, but in the privacy of our own homes. Once we leave our home, We must respect the boundaries others have. And the role of government should 100% be to arbitrate those rights. So what does that mean? Well, when there's a conflict and one neighbor wants to do something and the other neighbor doesn't want that neighbor to do something, and the first neighbor is complaining that the second neighbor is infringing upon their rights, it's the role of government to arbitrate that and decide who is in the right. Now, just because it might be our right to do something a certain way, it doesn't mean we have the absolute right to do that in public. Now, I'm going to give you an extreme example, and I'm talking, this is an extreme example. But some people, they like to walk around naked. That would be their right in the privacy of their own home, but not in public. In public, others have the right not to be forced to look at naked people everywhere. Their rights start where our rights end. Does that make sense to you? Think about it this way. We're able to do whatever we want as long as we're not infringing upon the rights of others around us. If the majority of people don't want to see naked people, then naked people shouldn't be out in public. It really is that simple. Now, it's a very simple concept, and it clarifies the meaning of personal liberty. When something has no effect on other people, it is our absolute right to handle it how we see fit. And why not? We're not causing harm to anyone else, so why shouldn't we be allowed to partake in that activity? Now, one thing super important to note here 
is that everybody gets to choose what they want to do and what they don't want to do. Nobody is forced into doing things they do not wish to do. It is always their personal choice. That's what personal liberty is all about. So give that some thought the next time that you get into a discussion about rights and responsibilities. Make sure you make it clear that you are not selfish and that you do not expect everyone to do things the way you do, but that you do expect to be allowed to do things the way you want to do in the privacy of your own home. Tell me your thoughts on this by leaving a voicemail on the Yogi's Podcast Network hotline at 657-529-2218. That's it for this episode of Liberty Revealed. If you like what you heard, please rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts and Google Play. If you'd like to learn more about personal liberty, grab your free copy of my book, Liberty Revealed, by heading over to yogispodcastnetwork.com forward slash Liberty Revealed. Until next time, stay free. Thanks for listening to Liberty Revealed, the show where you learn about all things liberty. Please visit the show's website at yogispodcastnetwork.com backslash LR, where you can reach out to Mike directly with your questions and comments. Again, that is yogispodcastnetwork.com backslash LR.